Welcome back to Game Galaxy, and today we're talking about Indigo Prophecy, also known as Fahrenheit in Europe. This is a cinematic interactive drama released by my favorite game developer, Quantic Dream. They're the same studio that's made Omicron, The Nomad Soul, Heavy Rain, and Beyond Two Souls. This is such an immersive and action-packed supernatural thriller that plays like an interactive film. The title screen even says New Movie instead of New Game. Quantic Dream throughout the years have gotten a lot of flack for their games, saying there's not much gameplay and it just plays like movies, but I think that's awesome. I love when you mix really, you know, deep stories and gameplay of video games with film, and when those lines are blurred, it's awesome. Even though there's an HD remaster of this game, we're going to be looking at the PlayStation 2 version because not only is it the way I originally experienced it, but I believe the lower fidelity graphics of the PlayStation 2 version really add a bit of mood, grit, and film grain that really helps the overall tone of the story. This game created a genre of its own and showed us so many mechanics and a level of maturity we had never seen before in video games. Set in New York City, the story begins with the main character, Lucas Kane, in a state of possession in a restaurant bathroom stall, cutting his wrists and forearms. In trance, he gets up and makes his way to an unsuspecting man and repeatedly stabs him with a knife, murdering him. Suddenly, Lucas comes to his senses. Horrified by what just happened, he quickly tries to hide the body and clean up the mess. This is such a jumpstart and one of the most interesting ways to kick off a story of a video game. Every decision you make and don't make has an effect and consequence on the story's progression. One of the most unique aspects of this game is that you play from multiple perspectives of the story. So you start out as the main character, Lucas Kane, involved in the entranced murder, but then you'll also play as the police that come and investigate the same scene, and occasionally you play as Lucas's brother. I tell you, my mind was blown when I pulled up as the police to investigate the crime scene I had just played as the murderer. It's such a great storytelling convention. This game has a real level of immersion and you get to know each of the characters very well, from their home lives and relationship statuses to their rapport with their co-workers. What do you know? Just the guy I was looking for. Oh, shit. Everyone has a mood or mental health meter and different actions and experiences will affect their mood. Going to the bathroom may relieve some stress. Also, some humor may lighten up a character's mood. Tyler? What? This is a restroom, isn't it? No. This is a crime scene. It's cool. I'm done. Must be all that coffee I've been drinking to try and stay awake. Similar to point-and-click adventure games of old, you have many different choices to choose from when engaged in a conversation with a character. There is a limited time for you to pick a response, so you really have to be engaged to what is happening. There are many action sequences in the game that involve quick-time event button pressing which make use of both analog sticks. I love these sequences, however I don't like that I basically have to cross my eyes to focus on both direction pads and it takes away of my ability to focus on the on-screen action fully. Nevertheless, it's really cool and there are some awesome sequences. Lucas is periodically haunted by hallucinations, premonitions, and unexplained supernatural experiences. That leaves us as the audience wondering, is this all really happening, or is Lucas just crazy? The plethora of mysteries really compels you to keep playing, and you'll find it extremely hard to put the controller down as you want to know what happens next. This story has so many twists and turns and develops into a much larger story than you originally expect. I don't want to say too much more beyond this point to spoil anything other than you must play this game, especially if you're a fan of supernatural murder mysteries. Again. I think the PlayStation 2 version is fantastic because I personally like the lower fidelity graphics because I think it adds a lot of mood and tone to the story. But there is an HD remaster available on Steam called Fahrenheit Indigo Prophecy Remastered. It's uh, got the Steam Play so it works on Mac and PC. And a good note, it is the uncensored version that North America did not get in this version. So that's something to note too. Uh, so go check it out, man. Indigo Prophecy.